we get a couple calls from guys who call up and say I put all new brake parts on my Jeep and I bled the wheel cylinders and bled and bled and bled the system uh, and say they still don't get a full pedal and they have seems like they have air in the lines or something. Uh, air in the lines just happen once in a while but if if you go through each one of your wheel cylinders and bleed them and, and, and keep the master cylinder full of fluid as you're doing it and don't let it run empty the air should go out after at least going over the system two times and usually there's other problems that make up that you're not having a full brake pedal. You have to realize on a master cylinder when you push the the brake pedal down and the arm is in there and that pushes the plunger in there the master cylinder only pushes so much fluid out the other end to go out to the wheel cylinders. One of the biggest problems is that people don't have their brakes adjusted correctly. If your brake shoes are far away from the brake drum, when that uh, master cylinder pushes that fluid, there are four wheels to push out, and if you have all these shoes not adjusted properly to the brake drum, it takes more fluid than what's in one pump of the brake master cylinder to get all these brake shoes out against the drum. And what happens then is the pedal goes down almost to the floor or to the floor. Then if you let it come up and pump again, then you'll have a good pedal right at the top. And, uh, and most of the time it's because your shoes are not properly adjusted. Uh, these are like MB, 2A, 3A shoes here. And some M38s had them on and stuff. It's, it's a hard thing to like keep everything still here. But uh, you have to realize on the bottom of these shoes there's also adjusters which you don't see on later model stuff. Uh, but when we adjust these brakes here, we'll take these bottom adjusters here and, and pull the brake shoe down toward the bottom of the drum when we adjust them. And then we'll come out up here to the top adjuster and we'll turn these adjusters out that the, the, the brake shoe goes out to the to the drum. And then I usually just adjust them until I, I start hearing that the brake, uh, turn the wheel with the drum on. As soon as I start hearing that the brake shoe is touching the drum, then I tighten it up and do the same thing up at the top and usually get them pretty close. Uh, the only other time we'll have a problem is if you take a brake drum and you get the brake drum cut out 60 thousands or sometimes guys will even do them a little better then the curve of the shoe don't match the curve of the brake drum and the only option there is if you can get somebody to cut the shoe which in a lot of places it's illegal to do that anymore but to make your your brake lining fit the curvature of the drum or just get new drums if they're that much out and you're having a problem adjusting them and uh, and once that's done and they're adjusted properly that when you turn the wheel you'll hear that the shoes hit some of the earlier brake drums had a slot on you can stick a feeler gauge in it tells you that in the repair manual to adjust them that way and and that's that's fine too but some of the drums don't have the feeler gauge slot in them and then you just do it with with ear on the brake pedal there's an adjusting arm where the rod goes into the master cylinder and sometimes these things will be adjusted uh, way too close and then when you're pushing the brake pedal in you'll have a half a pedal worth of free play meaning this rod will be out and it has to uh, go in you know a half inch or whatever before it actually hits the piston inside the the master sonar before it starts even pumping and so what you have to do there is adjust these things out they're adjustable and what you want to do is make it that you have about two inches of free play at the top of the brake pedal. And when you push the pedal, that, that you have about two inches before you start feeling the master cylinder push. And and then once you have that done, then you should be okay. And another thing you got to watch that you don't get this thing adjusted in too hard, that it's in against the master cylinder, that it don't allow the master cylinder piston to come all the way back, because then it'll keep your brakes on when you push it in, let it off. It won't come back far enough to let the relief valve, let the fluid go back into the master cylinder, and then your, your brakes will stay on. Just putting them, putting them up under the dash.